Hi, this is Bini here. Today, I'd like to cover on Tencent. The last video that I did on Tencent was around April, and since then, Tencent has been up about 32%. I think it's time for me to update Tencent a little bit since there are a lot of questions from the viewers of what I think about Tencent. The reason for covering Tencent earlier was because of the breakout. It broke out of this six-week high, and from there, it had a huge move. Some of the fundamental reasons to drive Tencent and moving up because of the regulatory tailwinds from the Chinese authorities. China Security Regulatory Commission announced plans to facilitate more listing on the Hong Kong exchange. Now, we also saw that Tencent announced the early release of this popular mobile game Dungeon and Fighter Mobile following a successful beta test. And of course, that Tencent announced the 13 billion worth of a share buyback in 2024. And this was more than double the previous year. And this buyback were viewed as counterbalancing the ongoing sell down by a Tencent early investors. Now, of course, that uh, Morgan Stanley expressed some optimism from Tencent gaming business, and that basically gave quite a, a huge boost to Tencent. Now, today, we're going to look at Tencent from the technical point of view, and especially that I'm going to share with you one thing about Tencent which you might have missed out. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a light? I've inserted two moving averages, uh, which is 21 EMA and 55 EMA. Uh, in this case, yeah, it's quite obvious that Tencent has flipped in terms of the moving averages. Now, last time that we saw the flip was around here, and that's around late uh, 2022. And from there, Tencent's moved up quite significantly. And right now here is the first time that we saw the moving averages flip as well. And that's after two years of a down. And right now that Tencent is showing the minor uptrend here, that's encouraging. At this moment, the support of Tencent is about 360 to 370. Uh, we can also find this acting as support right now. There must be some price confirmation for Tencent to move higher and I think that as long as price doesn't stay below the 360 support level, it should be viewed as a strong support. Even if Tencent does rebound back here again into the 360, as long as if it can bounce back, that would be seen very encouraging. And in this case here, yeah, it will complete the Elliott Wave ABC corrective patterns and it still stay into the support zone of about 360. Now in terms of resistance level, I've seen that a short-term resistance here, 400, and that's logical. If price continue to move higher, and if price can close above 420, then Tencent might have shown a very significant reversal. There are various ways to trade in the Tencent if you do not want to buy into the stock itself. If you're looking at short-term trading, then one might consider the Warren, or you might also consider into the DLCs of Tencent. Mm -hmm.